talked about restaurants, but have you been to your local dry cleaner? Better Call Harry caught up with a Roswell couple who are losing sleep over the loss of business. Here's what happens to your local dry cleaner when every day is dress casual day. The machines are off, the hangers bare, and the place is empty. So you're down like 90% on yeah, business? Yeah, 90%, yeah. What do you do? I don't know. <laughs> Duh, I don't know. Plaza Cleaners, the corner of Holcomb Bridge Road in Old Alabama and Roswell, sees 50 customers on a normal day. Today, Jason Chang has had two, me and some other guy. His four employees are home, but he's here, hoping Congress will stop messing around and pass the stimulus bill. How frustrating is this for you? <sighs> the sigh sums it up. Jang has two stores, Plaza Cleaners and Ivy Cleaners, three miles down Holcomb Bridge, where the Kroger is packed. But the only employee here, Jang's wife, Cindy. I have a big problem. I cannot sleep. She's worried. The rent is due for both locations, thousands of dollars they need now. What's the landlord saying? Have you asked for a delay? Yes, I'm already uh, sent the email, but it's, they didn't not answer. Cindy thinks they can make it maybe another two months. My first customer today. Got one customer who stopped by for pickup. It's always nice to see you. Jangs are hoping discounts for things like comforters and winter clothes will motivate customers to come back. Anything to keep the racks moving. That's no good. We have to help each other. Here's how we're advocating for dry cleaners everywhere. <laughs> you got a comforter? Take it in. You got winter clothes that need to be cleaned? Take those in. And don't forget, dry cleaners also do laundry. You had to throw me your underwear? They do that too. Take it in to keep them in business. I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News. Harry, thank you. Information.